What you doing, Michael? Fixing my helmet because I'm an idiot. Fixing your helmet? Because I decided to go riding when it was 16 degrees out. Yeah. And what happened? Um, not surprisingly, I didn't get traction. Because <laughs> the ground was frozen. You were riding the dirt bike on the ice? Not on the ice, just on the frozen ground. But yeah, same difference. Okay. And you, you, you broke this little piece that yeah. holds the visor on your helmet? Yeah. So you're making a new one? Yeah. Okay. What material are you using? Delrin. Delrin? Okay. Did you measure the thread size? Yeah. What is it? One millimeter. One millimeter? That don't look like one millimeter. Oh, that's your thread pitch is one millimeter. Oh, yeah, sorry. But I don't know. I don't... Yeah. Six? I used this thing, yes. They, oh, thread gauge. Okay, cool. So that's... So that's what the 14-year-old is making. Yay. Okay. What are you doing now? I am going to zero the cutter by scraping the ink. That's it. You can see ink shavings on the bit. Oh, there's ink shavings on the bit. Uh, I guess that's close enough. Alright, so you're gonna zero, zero this. And then we're dropping it in 548? No, half that, 230. Okay. 229. I'm just gonna go with... You do it in two passes, I guess. So start, take an eighth. That's one full turn. Okay. So bring it all the way back to zero. That would be an eighth. And we said we were going to make that that thread five sixteenths long plus a little bit more from the shoulder. So go back about four hundred. Shall we thread it? We shall. Go get your threading die. <clears throat> or should I say my threading die? Yeah, because I'm too cheap to own tools. I spend all my money on... Uh, Toys. Yeah. By the way, go subscribe to my channel. Link in the description. I'm just going to go on? Well, yeah, you got to push it on. You also got to keep it perpendicular to the to the axis of the thread. Now, you could do that with the tailstock if you wanted to be cute about it. But it's plastic. So just put your finger right in the middle of the pack and just turn it with, yeah, you go. You're cutting the thread. I am. I'm going to back off and break the chip. Once in a while. Yeah, I knew that. Good. Just a half turn is enough. Oh, that's okay. Well, doesn't really matter. You're gonna you're gonna take it off and finish the thread by reversing that die anyway. Because this die won't thread all the way to the shoulder. It looks like a pretty nice thread. That's because you got some pretty nice tools. You're going to chamfer the end of that? Yep. Actually, it's probably too long. 
Actually, if you make it really long, it'll it'll probably you know it'll help center the helmet on your head when it screws into your skull. No. Okay. Let's not. Let's not. Throw this on backwards. Hey, that went on way easier than I thought it would go. Well, it's already cut. No, yeah, it's still. It's only the last couple of threads that you're gonna you're gonna recut. Now, don't snap the thread off because this is, that happens. Go all the way to the shoulder. And. Yeah, you should be good. Alright. Alrighty, now we're gonna cut the shoulder. So there's a couple of ways that we can set the shoulder depth. We can we can we can we can swing the compound around and use the compound to feed our tool down the axis of the lathe. But then we would lose all of our zero measurements on on the, the, the work radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the stop. So we're going to screw the stop out a little bit, set it to zero. Set your, your stop reading to zero. Oh yeah. So bring your bring this up to, I'm going to turn this in a little bit so you can touch the work. Bring this up to your work. Okay, you're just touching your work. Yep. Touch off. Now, now set your, set your stop. You don't have to be tight. Now, screw that in 60 thousandths. It's marked, it's labeled. What are the, what's the graduations on there? Every 20, I think? Okay, 0, 40, so that's 20. Wait, what? A full, no. a full, a full turn should be 50 because it's, it's, oh. a, it's a half 20 thread. Oh, okay. Then in that case, a full turn. Plus ten, and then forty. Okay. Okay, so that should be sixty thousandths right in that gap. Yeah. Okay. Now there's another way to do that. Okay. The other way to do that is you forget forget the graduations on here, and you put a you put a shim in there, either a, a gauge block or feeler gauges or something that you know is correct, mm -hmm. and you you bring your stop up to the feeler gauge. Then yep. you remove your feeler gauge, and you've got a a, a travel space. Okay. Okay. Next, what's the diameter of the shoulder you're cutting? Just gotta go check his drawing. Where's my noodle? Um. We didn't write it down. Oh no, we didn't. Oh yeah, three twenty-three. Three two three. I think that's eight millimeter. Um, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Is my filming interfering with your machine operations? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're at zero. Right? No. More you're or less. Four. Four. Now you're at zero. Well, well, now we're four thousandths in. It doesn't matter. So, what was our what was our zero diameter? Do you need to measure it? No. What was it? I don't know. Then you need to measure it. No, I don't. Get your caliper. Because you didn't write it down. No, I didn't. And the magic number is? 682. 682. Okay. And we want to go to? That doesn't seem right. Okay, fine. 682. 682. 682. And the magic number we're going to is? 323. Three, two, three. So, 682 minus 323. Three. 682. Three, two. You need a calculator? Yeah. Not in school, therefore I don't do math. 
Remember the Barbie doll that used to you'd pull the string and it would say, Math is hard. They got a lot of controversy on that. Why? Six, what? Why? 682? Yeah, 359. 359, what's half of that? 180, roughly. Yeah. 179.5, you're not that accurate. <laughs> nope. Okay, so from zero, from zero, you're going to crank it in 180. You're going to take 180 off the radius. Yay. So it's 125, full turn, plus 130. 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, right there. That is correct, sir. And you're going to push the tool up to your stop, carriage stop, and then back it out, and you will have your shoulder. Okay. Shoulder. Tis. You have your shoulder. My name is Steve. Okay. So now, what's left to do? Cut the thread short? Because you got more thread than you need. Yeah, how much thread do you want? Uh, five sixteenths. Yeah. Roughly. Okay. It's not critical. Just eyeball it. Mm. Hold on. I got a better idea. You do? Yeah. You ready? Okay, so... Chop it about there. Let's do... I'm gonna say right there. Take off what? A little, little less than a quarter. Yeah, third thread. Third thread? Yep. Alrighty then. Now you don't want to cut in from that side. Yeah. You want to go in from the end. Really? Yes. Okay. Because you don't want to put all that side torque on the part. I mean, you're going to put side torque on it anyway, but it'll 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 be less this way. Okay. chamfer on that? Well, now there's like a little dimple in the center of it. Yes, well, that's why you need to file a little chamfer on that. Okay, so where's the file? Uh, I don't know if I have a file sharp enough for plastic, but try that one. Suggest. So yes. So, like 45 degrees, very good. Set up your parting tool. my thing. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Wrong order of operation here. Yeah. Funny boy. Alright. Lock, huh? lock your post down again. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's how you, learn, you make a mistake here and there and you learn stuff. Alright. Unlock your tool. There you go. Put your, put your parting tool down. Oh, shoot. No, wrong one. This one. Okay, now you got to get it perpendicular to the lay of the axis. This is the tricky part. For plastic, you can eyeball it, or you can use my little handy dandy gauge rod here. See the gauge rod? You can use the gauge rod eyeballing it against the uh, lathe bed. Once again, your camera's in there. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, crap. What? I bumped. 
You bumped it. So this is what the, this is what he was seeing. Camera can't see. Okay. So he said about an eighth of an inch. It's not okay. critical. Oh, your your stop is in the way. Yeah. Yes. So I'm just gonna go. That stop can save a lot of accidents. I'm gonna say that's close enough. All okay. right. And now for the test fit. First, see if it fits in the visor. Does the shoulder fit through the visor? I just want to see if it fits. Hey! It's magic. It's magic. The shoulder fits in the visor. Shoulder fits snug? Yeah. So now all you have to do is snip that nib off and cut a slot for your uh, screwdriver. I was going to say nickel or dime or something. Yeah, that works out. Okay. I think we can end the video there. Wow, you didn't do that with a, with a machinist scraper? No, you said snip it off. Well, okay. I don't. I wasn't thinking that, but I don't really care. <laughs> well, you, it's got to be out of your way for you to cut the slot. Okay, fine. But we're we're gonna end the video here. I think we've successfully trained a little tyke and a few a few lathe skills here. I'm not little. I'm a teenager. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Say goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, Michael. There you go. See you later. Thanks for watching. So, start with the hacksaw, finish it with a file. And you got a nice little slit in there. That's where all the tools should be found. Yes. On the floor. Yes. That's the original. Careful with that. It's not nearly as tough as the Delrin one. I'll pass inspection. I'll show up to the races, they'll inspect my helmet, and they'll be like, what the heck happened here? And it's like, oh, we, we broke it, so we made a new one. They'll look at us like, what? They'll be like, oh, okay. You made a new one? Yay! for all the uh, 10 degrees that that thing moves. Okay, now we're done. Back to the bike. Very good, you never looked better. And off he goes. See you later. You can't walk, but you can ride a bike. Yeah, okay. It's all good. Okay, so here's the epilogue. The 14-year-old comes downstairs, uses my lathe. Leaves the work in the lathe. Well, he left the tooling loose, which is okay, so we're, that's all right. Um, left my tools out. And uh, let's see, we gotta put this away. Oh, did I drop that? I did.
So this has got to get put away back into the uh, kit. That's got to get put back on the shelf. Left all my tooling out. Left all the lights on. That's okay. That'll take care of it. There you go. The uh, training of a young deer head. Oh, and of course, he left his food remnants behind. There you go. It's great being a teenager.